Hello friends, let's balance one more redox reaction that is redox net ionic equation we need to balance. This reaction is between phosphorus and hydroxide ion forming phosphine and hydrogen phosphite ion. This redox reaction is a special kind of reaction that is same substance will be oxidized and the same substance will be reduced. So this kind of redox reaction we call by the term disproportionation reaction. This reaction takes place in basic medium. Let's balance this reaction by off reaction method or ion electron method. I have noted down the oxidation numbers of phosphorus. In the free state, the oxidation number is 0. Phosphor the oxidation number of phosphorus in phosphine, minus 3. The oxidation number of phosphorus in hydrogen phosphate ion, it is plus 2. When we check that, one change takes place from phosphorus becomes phosphine. This change is reduction because the oxidation number changes from 0 to minus 3. There is a decrease in oxidation number, therefore this is reduction. So during reduction, this reduction, this is the reduction of reaction. The conversion of phosphorus to phosphine. This is a reduction of reaction. This reduction of reaction, I can note down with or reduction of reaction. This reduction of reaction, we need to mention the electrons on the left hand side of the equation because in reduction gain of electron takes place. The gain of electrons we need to mention on the left hand side of the equation. The next change you can notice that phosphorus, the oxidation number changes from 0 to plus 2. This change is oxidation, that only we have written. This change is oxidation of reaction, oxidation of reaction. So these off reactions we need to balance separately first. So when we check the reduction of reaction, first we need to balance the atoms other than hydrogen and oxygen. Accordingly, left hand side four phosphorus atoms are there, but the right hand side only one phosphorus atom. Therefore, in order to balance, this phosphine needs to be multiplied by four times. Four times it has to be multiplied. So I have mentioned the coefficient four. When we multiply this phosphine by four times, Hydrogen becomes 4 times 3, 12 times on the right hand side. But the left hand side, there is no hydrogen atom. So to balance this, to balance this, this 12 hydrogen atoms, here we need to add 12 hydrogen ions. That I am adding here, 12 hydrogen ions. 12 hydrogen ions are added. When we check here, left hand side, now 12 hydrogen, now we need to check the charges. The right hand side, the total charge is 0 because the phosphine is a neutral compound, so it has no charge. And this phosphorus is also neutral, there is no charge. But what is the only charge that is 12 plus the hydrogen ion. So now left hand side 12 positive charges are there. So in order to balance this we need to add 12 negative charge. So that I am adding here that is 12 negative charge we can add by adding 12 electrons. 12 electrons are added on the left hand side in order to balance the charges. Now the 12 minus 12 plus will be cancelled. So there is no charge. On both the sides the charges are 0. So reduction of reaction we have balanced. Now we need to balance the oxidation of reaction. 
in the oxidation of reaction here in the left hand side how many phosphorus atoms are there four phosphorus atoms but the right hand side here in hydrogen phosphide ion only one phosphorus so in order to balance we need to multiply this hydrogen phosphide ion by four that i am writing now four times on the right hand side when we multiply this hydrogen phosphide by four hydrogen becomes four times on the right hand side four h but the left hand side here only one hydrogen is present in hydroxide ion so this hydroxide ion needs to be multiplied by four times so this hydroxide is multiplied by four times that i am writing here 4oh so when this hydroxide ion is multiplied by four what happens left hand side four ox oxygen atoms but the right hand side four times these two that is eight oxygen atoms left hand side only four so four more oxygen atoms are required on the left hand side so in order to balance the oxygen atoms what we need to do we need to add water molecules so four molecules of water or add it on the left hand side four molecules of water or add it on the left hand side four molecules of water 4h2o is added on the left hand side so now when we add four molecules of water now total number of hydrogen excluding this hydrogen here four hydrogen here also four hydrogen so already both the side four hydrogen atoms are there in addition to this four hydrogen on the left hand side now eight hydrogen atoms are added in water molecule so eight hydrogen atoms are excess in left hand side so in order to balance this excess hydrogen atoms eight hydrogen atoms we need to add eight hydrogen ions on the right hand side that i am adding here eight hydrogen ions are added on the right hand side eight h plus are added on the right hand side now we need to check the charges of both the sides left hand side what's the charge here four minus that is in hydroxide ion one negative then one uh, coefficient four is there so here the charge is minus four right hand side four hpo2 minus so here also minus four so when we check that this minus 4 minus 4 will be cancelled these are this minus 4 minus 4 are cancelled equal so we can cancel this this minus 4 minus 4 are cancelled but this hydrogen ion has one positive charge and eight coefficient is there so total number of positive charge is eight plus so in order to balance, but the left hand side no charge, everything. So in order to balance the eight positive charge, we need to add eight electrons on the right hand side because it's an oxidation reaction, loss of electrons, loss of electrons needs to be mentioned on the right hand side. So eight electrons we need to represent here, eight electrons plus eight electrons I am writing on the right hand side eight electrons. Now the oxidation of reaction is balanced. Reduction of reaction already we have balanced. When we check here how many electrons are gained, 12 electrons are gained in the reduction reaction. How many electrons are lost in the off reaction? Eight electrons are lost. Here, twelve electrons. As per the rule, number of electrons lost and gained must be equal. 
so we need to make the number of electrons on both the equations equal therefore what we need to do we need to take lcm to this 8 and 12 so if we take lcm for 8 and 12 what will be that yes it is 24 the lcm for 8 and 12 is 24 so both the equations we need to make the number of electrons as 24 electrons 24 electrons so what we can do what adjustment in order to make the 12 electron into 24 we need to multiply this whole equation by two times that is the reduction of reaction is multiplied by two times similarly this oxidation of reaction as a whole we need to multiply by what's that three times then only three eights are 24 so then only we will get the number of electrons will be equal on both the equations so when we multiply with this oxidation reduction of reaction what will be that here it will be 24 electrons 24 hydrogen ion 2 phosphorus then here what will be that 8 phosphine and by multiplying by 3 this oxidation of reaction will become 12 water this becomes 3 phosphorus this becomes 12 hydroxide ion this also 12 hydrogen phosphate ion this becomes 24 hydrogen ion 24 electrons that we can do it at the next page yes here already I have written 24 electron 24 hydrogen 2 phosphorus 8 phosphine similarly the oxidation of reaction also multiplied and that is written now both the off reactions we need to add together both the off reactions are added together while we are adding what we need to check that same substance on opposite side same substance on the opposite side will be cancelled by subtracting so which which substances are same on both the sides here electron 24 electrons here also 24 electrons it will be cancelled here 24 hydrogen ion here also 24 hydrogen ions that will be cancelled so that i am cancelling now this 24 electron 24 electrons are cancelled this 24 hydrogen ions 24 hydrogen ions are cancelled remaining any other same substance person on both the sides any other substance person on both the sides same substance no now what we need to do remaining reactants we need to add together the left out species in the reactant side we need to add together similarly the left out uh, products we need to add together accordingly here the first equation that the reactant side true phosphorus is left out but the second second equation at the reactant side three phosphorus both are the same species same species on the same side needs to be added so 3 plus 2 5 phosphorus that we need to write it here 5 phosphorus 5 phosphorus then what else is remaining here excluding this phosphorus this already we have added and we have written then 12 water and 12 hydroxide ion here hydroxide ion is there this has to be multiplied by 12 i am multiplying now 12 12 hydroxide ion in addition we need to add 12 mo molecules of water on the left hand side that is 12 h2 i am adding on the left hand side now the reactants we have added together both the equations the reactants we have added 
now we need to add the products on both the equation here what's that eight molecules of ph3 phosphine and 12 molecules of hydrogen phosphide these two substances only left out that we can write it now that is eight molecules of phosphine and 12 molecules of hydrogen phosphide now when we check the reaction in the question what is given in the question in the beginning what was given the reaction takes place in basic medium if the reaction takes place in basic medium what has to be done this is the resultant equation usually to the resultant equation we need to add hydroxide ions on both the sides of the equation hydroxide ions we need to add on both the sides of the equation if the resultant equation is if the reaction takes place in basic medium another another condition what is that that is the resultant equation must have the hydrogen ions but when we check here there's no hydrogen ions therefore we need not add hydroxide ions so this is the final equation so the final equation is 12 moles of water 5 moles of phosphorus 12 moles of hydroxide react together as a result 8 moles of phosphine and 12 moles of hydrogen phosphate ions are obtained thank you so much for watching and subscribing